I mean, it, it's worth reflecting, you know, what's it changed just in the NHS, just briefly. So clearly it's massively impacted the level of service pr provision that we've given over the course of this year and where that service provision has been focused. It's tested our staff. I mean, it's tested really, I don't doubt, tested staff in the finance community. I know in the teams which I'm directly responsible in our regional teams. I mean, the effort people have put in has been extraordinary. The big, the big thing is going to be, you know, what is the glide path out of living with the pandemic in terms of the service provision that we give back to a world where that has gone? But how do we keep the, I think, probably the stronger relationships, system relationships that have existed because people have had no choice? Uh, how do we not let finance get in the way? How do we help finance actually reinforce um, some of that kind of system collaborative behaviour that really helps us think how we're getting the most out of all of the assets that are, are, are at our disposal in the NHS? That's the big challenge. And I feel that COVID has provided some opportunities to really build that co collaborative spirit, that flexible spirit. But it's how do we hold on to, to that? as we get into 21-22 and as we look to the years be beyond.